Okay, a scene like straight out of Mission Impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently the family of the Vietnamese bride who went into a coma after being hit by a truck has managed to get her out of Singapore and back home. Okay, let's take yeah. a look. It's TNP, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's take a look okay. at the new paper. Mm-hmm. Okay, the new paper which uh, has uh, given us an update on this Vietnamese uh, yeah. coma bride saga. Mm-hmm. The escape okay. is the latest twist in the tussle between the fiancé, Mr. Teo, and the bride's mother. Mm-hmm. You know, about who should care for her and where the caring should take place. That's right. You know, so essentially, here's the brief background. The Vietnamese bride came to Singapore to marry the man. Mm-hmm. She gets hit by a lorry mm-hmm. before the wedding and the man and the mother start to fight. Right? Like, like who, who should take care of her? I should take care where? of her. No, no, yeah. I should take care of her. So just when the mother makes arrangements to go to the Vietnam embassy to, you know, send the daughter back, she finds out that mm-hmm. the man actually engaged the lawyer to claim for insurance. So alarm you know, bells start yeah. ringing, right? Yeah, so things have progressed and the embassy approached a law firm, Carter mm-hmm. Wong, and they have helped the mother to make arrangements and now they're all back home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I think um, what's what's interesting about this is how the background of the fiance has come to light, because it turns out that first he was married before, so there's yes. there wasn't okay yeah. okay it's and, a deep background yeah and he's supposed to be a widower but there are no like death certificate claims or anything on his That's end. That's a bit suspicious. Okay. Yeah. Right, and then right. of course the second thing also is um, how he now says that the way the accident was described as not how it actually happened. And he says that he was uh, trying to protect his wife. But protect her good name. Yeah, but investigations are still taking place, so we don't know what exactly that means. Yeah, and he cannot say because investigations are still underway, right? Yeah. So it's um, a lot of uh, doubt cast on the, the whole it issue. Is, it is. So nobody really knows what happened. Yeah. Except that the lady is, you know, still Yeah, because she arrived in October. I mean, mm-hmm. things, things have taken place like over a period of several months she arrived in October all ready to marry him and then she gets knocked down on Christmas Eve and then on February 18th Miss mm-hmm. um, Din's mother Miss Din is the bride mm-hmm. they come down to visit her and spend time with her and after 50 days they've managed to take her back mm. yeah mm. yeah mm-hmm. wow I think uh, that it must have been really traumatic for not just Miss Din but her mother who had to really bravely fight for her daughter to be brought back to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are people in the foreign country and we can see many instances of how help has come from so many places. Yeah, it has. In fact, that's what the lawyers said. Um, Well, what they did for her actually have caused quite a huge sum, but then they waived it because um, they were touched by her love for the daughter because... You know, you come all the way and you see your daughter in this state, mm. already you're traumatised, you know, and having to worry about money and expenses. Mm. I think mm. that's a really tough thing. So they decided to help her out. So mm. that was kind of them. Well, yeah. on this saga, we'll be keeping mm. our eyes on this one. Yeah.